In this nugget, we are going to learn about Windows User Account Control, commonly known as UAC, and the CyberArk EPM dependencies. UAC is a long-standing security feature in Windows that helps prevent unauthorized changes. It sets levels of user authorization within the operating system that are designed to limit the ability of malicious code to execute with administrator privileges. When UAC is enabled, applications and processes can no longer automatically inherit admin privileges and instead will require approval from the end user when elevation is required. In order to do this, UAC introduced the concept of a split access token for administrators, where processes and applications would by default receive a standard user access token, and those approved for elevation would receive an administrator token. To protect access tokens from abuse, such as token hijack or shatter attacks, UAC works alongside Windows memory integrity levels where applications and processes are assigned an integrity level and are only able to communicate with other applications and processes at the same or lower integrity levels. To support this behavior change and ensure applications operate correctly, developers can place their elevation requirements in the UAC section of the application manifest file. When this information is included, you will see a blue and yellow shield in the corner of the application icon and this same icon can be seen dotted around the operating system where admin rights are required. Additionally, some applications only need to be elevated on demand, and this is facilitated with the Run as Administrator context menu, which will trigger a UAC event. The Achilles heel of UAC is that administrators and attackers impersonating them can easily disable or bypass it. This is one of the many reasons that users should operate with a standard user account and be granted only the rights required to perform their duties. CyberArk EPM builds on the security concepts of UAC by extending the ability to only elevate when necessary to standard users. The decision to add an admin token for requesting applications is instead handled by policy. The minimum settings for UAC and EPM to correctly operate together can be found in the online docs and are depicted here. It is important to reiterate that these are the minimum settings, and we would encourage the strongest settings that your environment and applications can support in order to gain the additional security benefits that they bring. What happens if UAC is incorrectly configured or disabled? In that case, Windows continues to display the UAC shield icon for items that require elevation. However, these elevation commands will have no effect and every application or process an administrator starts will be running with an admin token. CyberArk EPM policies are targeted at standard users for the actions of block, allow, and elevate, and will continue to function as expected as these are explicit instructions and are not reliant on a request from the application or process. Trust, elevate if necessary, and detect policies will no longer function as these are dependent on UAC events applications and processes attempting to elevate, and not explicitly handled in an elevate policy, will result in the user being prompted for administrator credentials or forced to run with standard user rights. We hope you found this EPM nugget informative, and we would like to thank you for watching.